Hello everybody, welcome to today's video and today we are going to talk about one specific scholarship program. So a lot of you have been asking me in the comment section that what are the type of scholarship programs that you can apply to when you're still doing your undergraduate studies or master's studies in India and I think this one is really appropriate if you're doing your studies in the field of biotechnology or related areas such as food or medical sciences or in the inter interdisciplinary areas then you can apply for this scholarship program. So I'll be soon telling you more about the eligibility criteria but before that let me tell you what this program is about and what is the name for, uh, name of this scholarship program so it's called Khurana program for scholarships maybe you would have heard about it it's one of the really prestigious scholarship programs um, especially if you're doing your studies in India then you're eligible to apply for this one it is uh, sponsored by Winstep Forward Inc, uh, WSF, and also Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, so IUSSTF, and Department of Biotechnology from the Government of India, DPT. So this program is named after Dr. Harbhavan Singh Khurana, and he uh, won his Nobel Prize in the year 1968. So, the duration of this program is 10 to 12 weeks, so you get to spend uh, one summer in the University of Wisconsin-Madison or Partner University in the US if you get selected through this scholarship program. And it's a wonderful way to um, go and explore different labs, different cultures, different people, network with them so that you can later apply to the same lab or to the lab uh, that you would like to if you um, really had an opportunity to talk to them in person. So usually the deadline is in the month of November and the eligibility criteria is uh, mentioned on their website. So I would urge you to go to their website to look into the eligibility criteria and also the other points that you would like to know and to know about this scholarship in detail. Um, another thing is that the scholarship covers your airfare, stipend and your health insurance if you get selected through this one. So mainly for the eligibility, uh, their condition is that you should be a pre-final year student enrolled in B.Tech, M.Tech, B.Sc, M.Sc, B.E., M.S. or integrated B.S., M.S., B.V.S.C., M.V.S.C., B.Farm, M.Farm, M.Farm, M.B.V.S. or uh, Masters in Medical uh, Science and Technology. And this should be in the areas of biotechnology or related areas, as I mentioned before, and you should be uh, doing your studies in India. So that's really important. Um, I would say that there are two points that I want to mention here because I did apply for this one when I was doing my undergraduate studies. One thing is that if you know that you want to apply for such a scholarship program, you need to know that you need to prepare for it from um, before. So you need to make sure that your GPA is good and also that you have a good letter of motivation so that you know why you want to apply to this position. Know a little bit about the types of lab that you can go to, the type of work that they are doing. Point number two is that, that if you're still not that ready but you're eligible enough, make sure that you apply to such scholarships because even though you get selected or not, it teaches you to accept whatever it is so either you get accepted to it it's well and good and it's really good for you but if you get rejected for this it helps you to accept the rejection which is very important when you start applying to different universities and to a lot of them we don't uh, get accepted to so it's getting um, so it helps you to get into um, accepting the whole scenario that you can't be accepted into every university so this really helps you to prepare yourself mentally for this whole application process and this is quite about it uh, i hope you find it useful since the deadline is in november you can still um, prepare for this and there's a lot that you can do so i hope you can apply to this scholarship if you have any questions ask them in the comment section below and i wish you all the very best for this wishing you good luck and i'll see you in, in another video with other scholarships uh, programs that I'm aware of so that I can let you know and you can probably apply to those as well. So see you later.